If you're looking for a date night without the kids, I think that that's what date night <laughs> yes, means. Yes, and thank you. you. <laughs> yes, you may be thinking about, you may not be thinking about the Orlando Science Center, but their Science Night Live option is pretty cool because you get to learn a lot and have fun. And it's cool to be a nerd, right? Yes. And this week we have a very cool speaker in store all the way from the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. And it's a new exhibit called Deep Time. Lead educator Amy Bolton is here with us as well as Lily Voss from the Orlando Science Center. Thank you ladies for coming in and I just love that you know you have these events for the adults because you do lots of great things for the kids. We, yeah. we all know that but these are unique opportunities. Tell us about what's happening. Yeah so Science Night Live is an event that I could talk about for like 30 minutes but I will keep it to a minimum. <laughs> right. um, but it's my favorite event because we, uh, we bring in the 21 and up community. You do have to be 21 and up, but um, $16 ticket gets you in the door. All four floors of the Science Center are open for you to explore. We've got a traveling exhibit, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So for any of you that were growing up uh, in the mm -hmm. 80s, oh, yeah. 90s, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, um, uh, for you to explore that. And then we bring in all this amazing content like Amy from the Smithsonian, mm -hmm. and we're so, so excited to have her here. And then, um, like you said, we're going prehistoric, so there's going to be some prehistoric experiments in our lab, Dr. Dare's lab, so you can strap on some mad scientist goggles and a lab coat, take a nice Instagram picture, of course, <laughs> share it with us. Um, there's going to be paleontology trivia, so if you are a Jurassic Park aficionado, definitely go do that. You're going to win some prizes for sure. There's hands-on activities. There's going to also, of course, be food, um, beer, wine, adult cocktails available for purchase. So it's a really fun yeah. event. And like I said, mm -hmm. I could keep going, but I will stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we love the Science Center. Now, Amy, we're so excited to have you here. Mm -hmm. And for folks who don't know the phrase deep time, tell us, what mm -hmm. is deep time? Well, deep time is talking about the history of life on Earth, at least for the exhibit that we're, that we're um, featuring at the Natural History Museum. It's the history of life on Earth. It's way beyond... The, the, um, the, the human lifetime. Mm -hmm. Usually we think about a generation or two, that's how people think about time. But when you think about it from a paleontologist's perspective, mm -hmm. this is 3.6 billion years of life on Earth, and that's what the Deep Time exhibit features. You know, how did life start? How did it evolve? How did ecosystems change? Why did they change? What were the causes? And then to think about it, you know, with all of this change on Earth, what does that mean for us today? And what does that mean for us in the future? It's hard to wrap your brain around 3.6 billion years. It is. Years. It is. You brought in this tooth. It's a I did. It's resin, I guess, but it's yeah. for educational purposes. It is. And so what I did was I didn't bring something from the Smithsonian's collection. Um, <laughs> but what I did bring was a cast. And okay. a cast is an exact replica mm -hmm. of um, of one of our collection pieces. And this was something that would have lived here in Florida, maybe mm -hmm. 10, oh, 12 Florida. million years mm -hmm. ago. And this comes from a creature. Now I could quiz you on it, but in when we do <laughs> when we do fun educational activities at a museum, it's never about quizzing. You're never gonna fail museum. You'll okay. always learn something. I felt some out. There's right. no pressure here. <laughs> but this is this is one single tooth from a really large animal. And it's hard to imagine, but this animal lived in Florida. And if you think, what's the biggest animal that lives mm -hmm. in Florida now? An alligator. And so this one would be even bigger. Wow. And it's hard to imagine, but the world has changed over time. And this is something from an elephant relative. Wow. Oh. So elef elephant relatives were yeah. here in Florida. So this is from so a mammoth? mastodon. Mastodon. Oh. A, ma a mammoth is also an yeah. elephant relative. Okay. So this comes from a mastodon. Oh, wow. did you see that little boy in Ohio finding the mastodon tooth on vacation? <laughs> Completely off topic. <laughs> we had that in one of our newscasts. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's exciting. Yeah. So anyone can do science, and that's one of the things I want to talk about um, at the Science Center. It's, it's great to have adult um, programs because science is for everyone, mm -hmm. and anyone can learn something about the natural world at any point in their life. So why is it so important for us to understand what happened, to understand where we're going? What the lessons of the past help us to do when we look way back in time and take that long lens of time um, and look deep into the, um, the Earth's past is it shows us these patterns of how Earth works. How did life evolve? How did life change? Um, what happens after a mass extinction? And what paleontology lets us do is to see these patterns over time. And when you look backwards and see what happened before and what happened after, we can take those examples, almost like a case study, 
and we can apply them to things that are happening to Earth today. What happens when, when animals go extinct in an ecosystem? What happens when ecosystems change drastically? What happens when the climate changes? And these things have happened in the past, but today they're happening um, for different reasons than they did in the past. And it's that looking at those lessons that help us to understand what might be happening in the future. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is like the undeniable evidence of what's happening in our world, what's changing constantly, and some of the things that we can do to help our planet as well. These lessons um, tell us that you know the Earth is, is a dynamic planet and it's always changing, but there are winners and there are losers mm -hmm. with change. And we can see that in the past and we'll see that in the, in the future as well. And Science Night Live tomorrow night? Yes, tomorrow what? night, 8 to 11.30 p.m. Tickets are just $16. Um, and for more information, if you want to go download our program, if you like to plan ahead, go to www.osc.org. And um, you can download the program, get more information, purchase your ticket. Wonderful. $16 for a fabulous yes. night. Thank you so much. Thank We've you. enjoyed Thank it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.